This is the large imaging room. The archive staff will bring out new probate boxes and keep us supplied. The black arrow shows you the location of where they bring them to. When you're ready to do a probate, you come in here, pick up a box. The indexes are in the little box lid on the top shelf there. Okay, I just retrieved a new box probates and it comes with the index. I want to break in right here and explain a few things about the index. The first column says item code. That's what we use for the waypoint number. Each probate has its own unique waypointing number. We'll discuss that a little bit further. The next one it says container. That's what we actually use for the volume number. As you can see, the volume number is the same for this entire box. The next column is the box number. Then record number. The record number is actually the different probate numbers. And you can see they're, they're all different. The next is the title. It not only has their name, but where, they're, where they passed away at and generally their occupation. Last is year. In the comments section is where we make corrections when we're checking it. And we'll talk about that more a little bit later. You will also see in the top margin where we've written media number, ID number, the number of probates, and the number of images. You'll be doing that on each sheet when it's completed. On the face of the box is the metadata. This is box number 4811. The probates inside uh, start at uh, 2440 and go up to 2465. That's part of the metadata. Now we open up the box, and inside are two slips of paper. The first one is the one we're going to use, we want the box. This is where we're going to write in the metadata. It will be the first image that we capture for this particular box. The only metadata information we need to record are the probate numbers. From the first probate in the box to the last probate in the box. Also include the date, the ID number, and the volume number or container number. The ID number will be issued in the DCAM when the photos, when the images are being taken. Okay, after we have our opened our box and have our metadata sheet ready to go, first thing we want to do is take out the probates and put them in order. Sometimes the uh, reading room people that come in and look at these records, they don't put them back in the same order, so we just want to make sure. Now, this particular box starts with record number 440 and 440. Okay, 40, 441, 4, 5, 6, 47, 48, 51, good, that's the correct order, and 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 65, perfect. Okay, the next step is to make sure that the index is correct and records the same information that's on the probate itself. And since these are sort of backwards, we'll take the other side and probate number 2456. And I want to make sure that that name is exactly the same, spelled correctly. And if it is, I check it off. If it's not, I'll make a note on the sheet, the correct spelling. And I'll do that with each record. Okay, now that I've got them in the correct order, and all of them have made corrections and the ones that need to be corrected, I just set the box like this, tip upside down, because I want the highest number first to start unfolding. And that will mean the last one I do, which will be on the top, will be the lowest number. 